you may find that you can improve the functionality of your form by adding command buttons. To add command buttons, you can use the Control Wizards button and the button tool in the Controls group on the Design tab. When using the series of command button wizard dialog boxes, you provide the action that should be taken when the command button is clicked, for example, go to the next record. Access includes several categories of commonly used actions within wizards. In the record navigation category, you will select the go to next record action for one of the command buttons. From the same category, you will select the go to previous record action for another. Other buttons will use the Add New Record and the Delete Record action from the Record Operations category. The Close Form button will use the Close Form action from the Form Operations category. This video will demonstrate how to add command buttons to move to the next record, move to the previous record, add a record, delete a record, and close the form. Open the Client Master Form within Design View. Make sure the Use Control Wizard button is selected. Click the button tool and then move the mouse pointer to the approximate position. Click the left mouse button to display the command button wizard dialog box. With record navigation selected in the categories box, click go to next record in the actions box. Click the next button. Click the text option button. Because next record is the desired text and does not need to be changed, click the next button. Type next record as the name of the button. Click the finish button to finish specifying the button. Use the techniques you have just learned to place the previous record, add record, delete record, and close form buttons. Click the button tool and then move the mouse pointer to the approximate position. Click the left mouse button to display the command button wizard dialog box. With record navigation selected in the categories box, click go to previous record in the action box. Click the next button. Click the text option button. Because previous record is the desired text and does not need to be changed, click the next button. Type previous record as the name of the button. Click the finish button to finish specifying the button. Click the button tool and then move the mouse pointer to the approximate position. Click the left mouse button to display the command button wizard dialog box. With record operations selected in the categories box, Click Add New Record in the Actions box. Click the Next button. Click the Text Option button. Because Add Record is the desired text and does not need to be changed, click the Next button. Type Add Record as the name of the button. Click the Finish button to finish specifying the button. Click the button tool and then move the mouse pointer to the approximate position. Click the left mouse button to display the command button wizard dialog box. With record operations selected in the categories box, click delete record in the actions box. Click the next button. Click the text option button. Because delete record is the desired text and does not need to be changed, click the next button. Type delete record as the name of the button. Click the Finish button to finish specifying the button. Click the button tool and then move the mouse pointer to the approximate position. Click the left mouse button to display the command button wizard dialog box. With Form Operations selected in the Categories box, click Choose Form in the Actions box. Click the Next button. Click the Text Option button. Because closed form is the desired text and does not need to be changed, click the next button. Type closed form as the name of the button. Click the finish button to finish specifying the button. Adjust the positions of the buttons if necessary. Click Save on the Quick Access Toolbar to save the changes.